Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss about that how we can easily generate the NDVI map using Python. Okay, so in this time I use here the Google Earth Engine and then create the NDVI map using Python. So if you want, you can open your Jupyter Notebook or if you want, you can also use here the Google Colab. So in this time, I just use here the Google Colab. So just I simply search on the Google, Google Colab. So now I can get, so you can see welcome to go, uh, collaboratory. So simply click on here. So further here you can see a, you can see new notebook. Okay, so just I open a new notebook and try to show you that how we can easily make the NDVI map using Python, Google Earth Engine. Okay, so now it's open my Google Colab. So first of all, I simply import one library. It's called the Art Engine library. I simply import. And then I also need to import the another library. So import a uh, GE map package. I also need to import this package. And further in this time, I simply use our art engine authenticate. I click on the allow and then simply sign in with my email which I use to make the Google Earth Engine account. So now click on the allow. And further I take the another cell and put here the Earth Engine. Initialize. Initialize. I put here project well my project name. Okay, so now further click the run. So okay, you can see it's successfully done. So now further, I just add a map. So you can simply take a variable. Suppose I put the variable name is the map, and I call the function mainly the map dot map. And further, I just display this map. So just use here the map. Just in this time, we can get the map. Here you can see now it's added this map. Look at this map we can get from here. So now I want to uh, calculate the NDVI using Sentinel 2 satellite imagery for a specific location. Okay. So further in this time I just take a new cell. And in this cell, first of all, I just simply uh, uh, set my location. So further I simply use that, that a function, mainly this function is that map dot set center okay so just I put this map dot set center and further i simply put here that latitude longitude and zoom level then this time i simply copy this my study area latitude from here and paste and also copy the longitude from here and paste and also set the zoom level suppose 10 and now click the run okay so now you can see it automatically uh, set my study area in here okay i picked the mistake in here i think first of all you need to mention about the longitude value and then we have to put the latitude value okay so first of all put the longitude and then put the latitude value so now we can get the proper place yeah so now i can get my proper place so just i simply set my study area so in this time i want to make this map suppose this is dhaka city region so just i simply set the center of this map according to this longitude latitude and zoom level okay and further i take the new cell about that and i in this time i just take a location location point so further i simply take a variable suppose point 
and uh, I just simply make a arc engine geometry geometry dot point okay in this time I simply mention about that longitude and latitude so I simply copy the same longitude and latitude I simply copy from here and paste simply copy and paste so this is my point okay this is my location for this location I want to make the NDVM app okay so in this time this I think the uh, uppercase P point okay okay so okay so now it will work you can see e geometry dot point so now it's successfully done and further in this time after set my location I need to import my image collection okay so for that in this time I simply search on the Google suppose Google Art Engine data set or uh, data catalog simply search on the Google and here you can see I can get this data color and from here you can easily access Landsat, Modis, Sentinel any kinds of data set I can easily access from here so in this time I simply click on the suppose Sentinel okay, to get the better image collection I use the Sentinel and here you can see I can get all of the Sentinel image collection I just simply click on here Sentinel to multi spectral instrument and then I simply use at the surface reflectance top of atmospheric you can see two kind of image we can get so in this time I use at the top of atmosphere so let's click on here so I can get all of those details about this image collection this from here I simply copy this snippet from here okay simply copy and paste in my code editor and then I give a variable name I put the variable name suppose uh, image collection okay you can put any variable name so now this is my image collection and this image collection I stored it in a variable okay so in this time I just use a function okay so mainly this function called the filter bounds okay filter bounds with my study area a location points so simply copy and paste here okay so now for that I just simply click to the run and check okay it also okay there is no problem and now in this time I just try to make a specific time period image suppose I want to make the NDVI for a year of 2020 okay or year of 2023 okay so for that I just take a variable suppose I put the variable name is the image and I mention here ee dot image and from I can got this image from this image collection I simply copy this object and paste here and then further I simply put my uh, specific time period so just put here the filter date and put here my start time suppose year of 2023 uh, 1st January from year of 2023 uh, December suppose 31 okay just I simply put this time period and further I want to choose only for those images suppose between this time period I choose very very lowest cloud cover image okay so for that in this time I use here the short function I short you according to the cloud coverage assessment or if you want you can also use here the cloud pixel percentage so for that I simply uh, go to the image properties here you can see the image properties you can see the cloud coverage assessment or you can see cloud pixel percentage so in this time I shorting this image collection according to the cloud coverage assessment I simply copy from here and paste in my study area paste my code okay so I simply paste so in this time what happened in this time between this time period wings image is lowest cloud coverage assessment I got this image okay so then from here I just simply take a uh, first function so first so just put here the first so in this time I again explain this code so this is my image collection so this image collection I simply filter this time period and from this time period which image is the lowest cloud cover assessment I take it okay, using the short function if you want you can also use here the filter metadata no problem I simply use here the short function and take the cloud coverage assessment lowest cloud coverage assessment between this time period for my study area okay so now click the run okay it also okay there is no problem so further I just simply uh, take a new things from here I just simply this time I just make a NDVI map using this image okay 
So for that, I just simply take a variable, uh, suppose ndvi, and in this time, I just simply put a uh, call my image. So this is my image, I simply copy and paste and use a function normalized difference between two band, near infrared band and red band. So put here the B8, near infrared band and red band, which is B4. So now click the run. So it's also okay. No problem. So further, I just simply show the map. For showing this map, I simply use a code. Suppose I simply use at the map dot add layer, and my layer is the ndvi. Okay, and then further, I simply use at the map. Basically, this map is my object, which I already declared in here. You can see. So basically, it's come from here. You can see I already declared about this map g map okay in this map variable so further after adding the layer after adding the map dot add layer of ndvi i call this object so now click the run so in this time it added layer you can see it added the layer and also added the ndvi map for my study area which i selected okay so this tiles i can get this map so now i want to add the visualization about that okay so how we can add the color map about that? So very easy. You can simply uh, just I take a new code cell in here and add the write the code for this color. So for that, I just simply uh, put here the VIS visualization, and I want to make a dictionary. So use here the curly bracket for creating the dictionary, and I simply set the color. Suppose I put here the mean value. I simply put the mean value start from that negative one, and uh, put here that max value. Suppose I put at this max value uh, from suppose uh, positive one, and okay, and further I just simply add the some color plated. Okay, suppose I put at the plated function, just use at the PALE double T E plated and make the color of list. So in this time, I just put this color, suppose uh, blue color, and then I put at the white color. And also put here that suppose uh, green color so green color so in this time this blue is represent the low ndvi value and green is identify about that high ndvi value okay so for that i just simply copy this parameter which variable from here and also run this code and add these things in here so just simply put here and then click the run So here you can see it added the color and we can easily identify you can see we can get the water body this type of things we can easily get from here you can see this water body uh, is very low vegetation we can get from here okay we are also get the vegetation as a green color we can get this type of green color okay? and this type of things will be built up or barrel land we can get this type of things okay so basically this is the process for making the ndvi map using google earth engine with python api so for that if you want you can also save it as a HTML file. So for that you can simply uh, just write the code of on you can simply write the NDVI. Or if you want you can simply put here that you can simply call your object. So map save and then put here the suppose NDVI dot HTML. Okay, then click the run. And for that you can simply get your folder in here you can see it added a folder in the HTML. Simply download this folder from here. Or if you want, you can also uh, export the tip format image. No problem. In this time, I will show you this. Suppose this my web. I simply open it in my uh, Google Chrome web browser. So just you can see open it with a simply Google Chrome. So now it loaded. So now you can see we can get this type of uh, HTML file. You can easily get. So now if you want, you can also use it for your web mapping or other types of things. You can easily do. Suppose we can make the web application of the NDVI. So a lot of things we can easily do using the Python different types of packages. You can see. So now we can easily use it as a web page or your web uh, interactive web mapping. You can easily use it in your web browser. Okay. 
So basically, this is the process for creating the NDVI with Python. So for the class, I also try to discuss about the more uh, deep things about the Python with Google Earth Engine or remote sensing analysis. For getting this type of thing, simply keep in touch with my YouTube channel. Okay. And in the meantime, if you have any question, you can just the video comment. I also try to give all of the answer. And I also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program. So mainly, uh, if you want, you can also join my live training session. It will be, I will take the class for the live and easily join my live training session on the Google Earth Engine. So basically, our registration is open now for the new best. It will be start, class will be start on the 10th February. And education last is the 9th February. Okay. And first 10 days, people will get the 50% discount on this online training program. Mainly, it's the total seven days online training program. Friday and Saturday in a week, we take the class. And each day, you can get the three hours live training program and the time period about that. And uh, basically, in this online training program, we are just focusing the beginners. Uh, suppose you have no knowledge about the coding, or if you have no knowledge about the Google Earth Engine, or if you have no knowledge about that remote sensing, so this course is for you. So in this online training program, you are learn all of those things from beginners level to advanced level for the different types of remote sensing analysis. If you have no background of the coding, if you have no knowledge about the Python or JavaScript, don't worry about that. So you will learn all of those things from a stress level and then go to the advanced level. And you can easily do any types of remote sensing analysis. So I already added all of those course content, all of those uh, schedule. I already added in my video description. You can simply check it. And you can also get the, some benefit about this online training program. When you want to join, you can get the certificate after submitting all of those assignments. You can get the, all of those material slide PDF. You can get the practice code. You can get the recorded class. Suppose when you miss any live training session, you can easily cover using the recorded class. And you can also get the lifetime teaching support. So basically, as the beginners, when you want to learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problems. So that's why you need the continuous support for properly learning the Google Earth Engine. So that's why you also provide the live training support uh, because because after completing the seven days when you face any problem regarding any issue about the coding you can get the live teaching support okay and if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact in this uh, whatsapp number you can also contact with this email and then book your seat and join your google classroom and whatsapp group okay so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe